my favorite food, the world's most perfect food, sardines. Now, as you can see, this is an Asian variety, judging by the package, since it's all in, <clears throat> I don't know, Chinese or Japanese, Korean, don't know what it is. But there is almost nothing on here except the company name, oh, product of Thailand, and the ingredients. The rest is just a guess. <clears throat> now, a little safety precaution as usual. Always, at least when you're starting out, use a paper plate so you can throw it away. Use some plastic bags that you can put everything in afterwards, wrap it up and toss it in the trash because it's not overwhelmingly strong smelling, but it's everlastingly present once you get it somewhere in the house. So, paper towels as well. Let's just jump right in, well, with a little history, I guess, about sardines. Sardines aren't really the name of the fish. Sardines is a classification of the size of the fish. Apparently, if it's below six inches in length, it's a sardine. If it's bigger than that, it's called a pilchard. Whoever determined that, I don't know. But these are not sardines. They could be any one of 40 or 50 different varieties of fish. And the canning method is also included in that term, sardined. And there are various ways that they are preserved in here, but typically they are put in there with some kind of sauce and cooked in the can ready to eat. Now let's just begin with these because I'm really curious as to what these are and what they taste like. Start with a paper plate. Always have crackers unless you're really good with the texture because sardines are whole squishy fish. It's the whole item there except for the head. And whatever he ate yesterday is in there too. You get the whole package. That's why it's like the world's most perfect food. Opening the can is where you got to be very careful. When you pull that little tab, you don't want to just be an idiot and go yanking it off because then you got little drops of this smelly fluid in various places. So take it carefully. Use both hands and pry it up very slowly. When you get to the very end, just wiggle it back and forth a number of times until it snaps free carefully without doing that twang thing and throwing more stuff all around. Now there you go. Looks like two pieces of a rather robust little minnow. And you can see where the inwards are still inward. All right, I will grab a eating utensil. And I will break that little gem in half. Careful, ever so careful. Yeah, that don't look appetizing at all. And the first time you eat one of these might potentially be the last. But I would suggest you really push through because this really is good food for you. And once you get over the texture, it's really good tasting. I might point out, when your saltine crackers are burnt like that, take them back to the store. Don't let those buggers get away with this. These don't taste very good, but it's all I got for today. Well, that don't look too appetizing, does it? But I'm betting that it will be. Probably shouldn't have done that. Pretty good. I don't know what this sauce is in this. Can't help you out there. Gotta be.
be some sugar in there somehow because it's a little bit of sweet sauce. It's not the typical <clears throat> customary fishy taste that I would normally have in a sardine. There's a little bit more of that sweet sauce. So the Asians that packed this did a pretty good job of permeating meat with an outside flavor rather than just the fish. But for those of you who do eat sardines, the, fla the flavor of a sardine is outstanding. There are few fish that have that much flavor packed into them. I think I'll have just one more little chunk here. If you want to be conservative, you can split them in half like that, so it looks more like a fillet. But no matter what you do, this is never going to be one of those real showpiece gourmet food items that you want to treat and relatives to. It's just something that you might want to keep to yourself and eat in private. But once you get the hang of it, you might really like these things. Gotta say, pretty outstanding. So there you have it. Now to wrap it up, literally wrap it up. Get your little throwaway bag there. And slip all this stuff, except for the fork. You wanna wash that off right away. Slip all that stuff into one of these here throwaway bags. Wrap it up real nice and safe. Walk it out to the trash. Get rid of it before the wife gets home. Well, that's all I got to say about that variety. I wish I knew what it said in English, but I don't. So just take a good gander at the original picture if you want to try that. Go to your local Asian food store. If they don't have one like this, I'm sure they got five, ten other ones very close. Thanks for watching.